And welcome back for the break, everybody. Here the meteorologist Connor Friedhoff here on your Saturday morning. Yeah, this weekend we have a first winter storm of the year. I know it comes right after the new year. Uh, Connor, we do have three questions I think everybody's trying to keep in mind right now is when is it going to start, where is it, when is it going to end, and how much accumulation are we really going to expect uh, with this winter storm? Well, this forecast can answer all three of those hey, questions. Tell us now. Uh, <laughs> pretty much we're start looking yeah. around 1 o'clock is when we're going to see the first flakes and then further evolving into more heavy snowfall, continuing throughout Sunday, albeit at a much calmer rate. And how much we can expect? Well, official messaging of the anywhere in the pink counties here, that's the winter storm warning. Official messaging saying anywhere five inches up to nine inches. That's what we're seeing from the National Weather Service. Of course, could vary slightly when you factor in, of course, elevation changes and some of where the storm is expected to hit hardest. So again, those pink counties, that's the winter storm warning. If you live in one of there, stay vigilant. We're expecting widespread impacts to travel as well as just daily life going on here on our Saturday. Much of these snow showers are off to our southwest in parts of Pennsylvania, making their way into the region in the next few hours. The northern tier will be the first to see a few flakes a little bit after 12 o'clock, but then start to cross the state line around one, mainly just dealing with so mainly cloudy skies throughout the region and they'll stay like that throughout much of the day. We're not expecting much more than any kind of overcast skies. Our highs will get up into the mid 30s, uh, albeit mainly some areas going to be still near freezing like in Ithaca or even below freezing. Much of the northern tier could, could see temperatures, excuse me, mainly in the upper 30s, low 20s in certain areas. Now going back to that start time, because the storm is moving in from the southwest and traveling to the northeast, we can see much of those areas off to our southwest, places like Potter, Tioga County, Pennsylvania, parts of Steuben County expected to see that storm earlier than places like, of course, Watkins Glen, Ithaca, and up towards Cortland, where we could see the storm arrival time mainly be anywhere between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock hour, as opposed to places like Corning and Elmira, where we could see mainly coming in around 1, 1 1.30 at the latest 2 p.m moving forward and our snowfall rate is going to start out a bit on the lighter side, but then we travel through parts of the early afternoon into the evening. We'll see things start to quickly pick up and at the highest rates, at least for central New York, as much as one inch per hour. If you're more in northeast Pennsylvania near the Poconos of the Blue Mountains or over towards the Catskills, we could see the snowfall rate climb to about an inch and a half per hour. Of course, over towards the Hudson Valley, there are projections that we could see upwards of a foot of snow. Again, that is off a couple hours to our east. Now, here's the big one, what we're really expecting here in terms of snow accumulation. Much of the area here in this pink indicating the possibility, the high, the high likelihood of six inches and possibly more. Again, localized higher elevations could see anywhere up to maybe nine, even 10 inches of snowfall. In that area, in the dark blue off to our west, just outside the viewing area, still expecting three to six inches. Those are most counties pretty much in the winter weather advisory, so slightly less snowfall is expected. But nonetheless, we're still going to be dealing with snow regardless of location. That low pressure system makes its way through the region, eventually starts to make its way out. High pressure takes its place and brings in a nice break on Monday. We go past 12 and get around 2 o'clock. We see snow start to move in and then some deeper shades of blue pass through on our on our evening hours going in throughout the rest of the day. Then things start to taper off before eventually we see lower rates of snowfall for our Sunday. Things will calm down eventually by the time we get to Sunday morning. The rest of your seven day forecast, we see temperatures sitting in the mid 30s or excuse me, upper 30s throughout Monday. Rain and snow are possible on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's the next weather maker on the horizon. And then going into late week, temperatures receding back down towards around 40, but much calmer conditions are expected around next weekend.